Hi, I'm Robert Peeler, the online community manager for Kojima Productions, and I'm here to talk through the first trailer for Metal Gear Online, a PvP multiplayer experience included with Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. Metal Gear Online, or MGO, launches live with The Phantom Pain, and the recently announced Collector's Edition includes several extras specifically designed for multiplayer. The trailer opens on our debut map, a hill in a desert landscape. Our team begins by selecting gear options through the iDroid, ending in a desert-style camo to match the map. More custom options will be available in the final game. You can see that the team setup for the trailer was 8 vs 8, but players can also play a balanced 6 vs 6 mode. We created shots for both teams using a variety of weapons and items. Just a handful, but of course more will be in the final version. In the trailer, we wanted to show players working as a team, as teamwork is at the heart of MGO, and tactical operations are the core concept of the game. Snake throws a grenade here that marks enemy players within the radius of the grenade, lets your teammates see them from far or through walls. This works similarly to the marking system in Ground Zeroes and the Phantom Pain. That's why you saw them break off into pairs earlier, and here, a player peering through binoculars acts as a scout for Snake and his teammate by marking nearby enemies. Here Snake's teammate sneaks up and uses a chokehold, but he could have employed other CQC options both before and after he grabs an enemy, such as a CQC slam or interrogation. You'll also notice he's an optical camo, a feature that returns from previous Metal Gear titles. Here we show that the Fulton Balloon from single player has been weaponized into a placeable trap. Different from being tranquilized or stunned, this method is a new, non-lethal option for eliminating players from the battlefield. Likewise, when caught in this trap, players can shoot down the balloon to rescue fellow teammates, a critical element to working as a team. With splitting into pairs, we can show how each group approaches player defenses from different vantages. This demonstrates the need to choose how best to counter multiple strategies. Note the blue disc here. This is the infiltrating team's objective. We don't show it here, but gameplay modes can have multiple or alternate objectives as well. Roger that. Working together, the team is able to execute multiple tranquilizer headshots and clear the path for Snake and his teammate to recover the objective. Remember that cute puppy from earlier? This item actually evolved from the MGS Dirty Magazine, a support weapon that in previous Metal Gear games temporarily distracted enemies. Our original design was a cute animal magazine, which then morphed into an actual puppy, then finally a stuffed puppy. We changed from actual to stuffed because we didn't want players shooting a real puppy on the battlefield. Here we introduce this mechanized enemy, which is an element you may remember from the E3 2013 trailer for the Phantom Pain. This is something we definitely wanted to bring over to MGO. Now Snake is utilizing a unique new ability that we can't go into too much detail right now. We wanted to show that this mech is not invincible. Players can hijack it from behind. Snake then uses the mech to defend his teammate who grabs the disc and heads out of the base. Snake even shoots out the one guy using the cardboard box in the match, the classic Metal Gear item, which of course we had to throw in even for just a second. The shields from previous Metal Gear titles are back and just as strong against a hail of bullets as before. You might notice here that we painted something distinct on them, but I won't say more than that for now. Also, Snake then shows off the melee capabilities of the deck, giving the writer more options when facing different enemy types. Revolver Ocelot, like Snake, is playable in MGO. We wanted to end the trailer with Ocelot spinning his gun since the beginning of production. Ocelot's expert gunplay is a key element to reintroducing this classic character in Metal Gear Online. The E at the end of the logo here represents both the letter E in Online, the number 3 for MGO3 since this is the third iteration for the multiplayer experience, and San a Japanese kanji character which likewise translates to 3. With the Phantom Pain being a typically deep and intense experience, MGO is aimed at being more light and fun. 
We have implemented the selfie at the end of the trailer to demonstrate the humorous side of the Metal Gear universe and to give players an opportunity to show off an expert CQC hold. Thank you for watching our commentary. We'll show you more about MGO as we get closer to launch, and we look forward to playing with everyone.